Hi guys, I'm I'm Dinks and ako po si Tibong Chris Channel. So tonight Wait. <laughs> So guys, tonight I'm gonna Hindi ko alam kung mag-English ako o magtatagalog eh Pero uh, let, let the spirit lead me, okay? So for now um, I just wanna share with you my devotional for the day And ito Maganda talaga ito kasi nakaka-refresh ng soul, ng spirit, ng strength, ng energy. Energy. So, pag morning mo siya gagawin, mas okay kasi ma-refresh ka talaga. And pag gabi naman, you will have a good night rest knowing that someone up there that is Jesus, who is Jesus, loves you so. Okay, so Marami pa akong i-share sa inyo guys, but let's take it slow, okay? And for now, kasi gabi na, inaaral ko kasi tong live stream. It's my first time to live stream here in OBS. And I was actually planning to play a game, but somehow the Holy Spirit led me and told me to, you know, share the word for tonight. Okay, so ngayon I will I will uh, what you call this? <laughs> um, I will wait. Let me let me switch. Let me switch to. Okay, hold on. Ah. Oops. There. Okay. So guys. <laughs> Okay lang yung Psalm uh, 91 guys. So, ang natawag niya ito is is ito lang. Okay. So, palitan ko lang itong Psalm 91 guys kasi yan, yung po, yan po yung favorite kong verse. Um, especially these days kasi we all really need um, divine God God's divine protection wherever we go kasi alam nyo naman maraming mga funny danger, dangerous uh, mga pang, pangyayari sa mundo ngayon so um, I suggest na i-google nyo po tong Psalm 91 save it in your uh, pocket, save it in your phone para pag ano, para pag you are in fear or you are in doubt you will you will have rest in everything okay so now it's that's not po yung hindi po yan yung i -dis, discuss <laughs> this discuss okay so uh, okay um, tonight ang isi-share ko is yung favorite my favorite devotional before I sleep okay so hold on na. so so guys uh, ano ba to sorry I'm lost I'm lost in words kasi hindi naman talaga ako ano hindi naman talaga ako Ano, speaker or magaling magsalita. So, I'm just like, you know, inaano ko muna yung thoughts ko para ma-deliver ko ng maayos. Okay? So, for now, have patience. Be patient with me. Okay? And okay. So, I'll open this up. Okay. Ito na po yung app. Ito na po yung app na Wait. I just hope na ma ma makakintay ng sir ng I mean worship songs pero hindi ko pa alam kung paano to 
malakas yung odd yung gum- lumalabas dito sa ano sa tawag nito sa phone ko from my phone to my laptop hindi ko pa alam yung settings niya so for now oh wait wait okay anyways <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> yung parang iba talaga yung train of thoughts ko ba parang nakakatka okay focus focus ay guys focus so um okay punta muna tayo sa my devotional this is the one okay kikita niyo naman Jesus calling for kids ako guys pag matutulog na i try to like you know feed my soul my mind of God's promises kasi para ma- masarap yung tulog you are well rested and so far it's it's it works kasi I mean most of the time napapasarap yung tulog ko kaya <laughs> late na ako nagigising pero I'm trying to adjust naman sa work ko yeah so okay guys ito na I wanna okay nababasa nyo ba guys okay so today is March 24 I suggest guys you download you download this app okay. Jesus daily ah sorry Jesus daily call Jesus daily quotes it's my blog pala it's my website it's Jesus calling for kids okay and now we seryoso seryoso so, so now it's 24th 24th of March so, title is I won't let you down let's open and may you be blessed and may the Holy Spirit touch your heart and comfort you whatever you are feeling right now and yes and give you rest and hope uh, Holy Spirit will lead you to Jesus if you have for kung hindi nyo pa po na receive si Jesus as your Lord and Savior you can do so you can do so dala nabayan yung dila oh sorry guys kasi bisaya kasi kahit ang tagal ko na dito sa Singapore may pagka bisaya pa rin okay? so okay. so let's continue I won't let you down Guys, will you please read with me, okay? Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Amen. There will come a time when you need to let go of someone or something. Perhaps it will be a friend who has turned her back on you or someone you love who has passed away or perhaps it will be your own desire to be in charge of your life letting go means trusting that you will be okay without that person or thing in your life how can you let go you have to trust me more than you trust what you are trying to let go of trust me more than friends and family more than stuff Trust me more than friends and family, more than stuff, and more than yourself. How is that possible? Because I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. I don't get sick. I don't move away. I don't get too busy or distracted. And I don't let you down ever. Wow. Amazing, right, guys? That is Jesus talking to you right now. I hope you you'll feel I hope you have felt his presence okay and it was Singapore and you are wherever you are right now in Cebu or Philippines or in the US of OFW kayo so it doesn't matter guys because Jesus is omnipotent he is everywhere he is he is everywhere and he's omnipresent okay so diba guys Have you na bless ba kayo? Yes, okay. So, let's go on, guys. Is my other K 
si Rita. Tapos na tayo dyan. So, ito last. Ito si Pastor, our Pastor here, Joseph Prince. You can, you can check on him on Google, on YouTube, and on his website, guys. Sa YouTube, Joseph Prince. Grabe. Anointing, guys. Yung super anointed yung preacher na to. And he's been blessing me with his teachings with his Jesus teachings for more than 10 years and look at me now I am so blessed and I believe no fear no fear no worry can come to me because I know how to deal with them I know how to no it's not how no it's not I know how to deal with them I I know how God will deal with them how God will deal with it so that's the two different things okay our job as a daughter son children of God is to just believe and trust him for who he is in your life okay so it's just that just that guys you just just need to trust to trust trust Jesus okay so today we will um let's see read okay read sermons sermon notes okay dito tayo sa daily devotional your answer is found in a person hmm dyan pa lang guys title pa lang ano power na parang hmm gagawin ka huh? okay so read let's read okay okay oh stretch oh sorry oh wretch man that i am who will deliver me from this body of death i thank god through jesus christ our lord amen and guys sometimes i'm still learning no kasi ang dami pa rin i'm not hindi pa ako ano sa bible pero i've chosen i've um collected some powerful promises from god pero almost all the time all the time talaga ano may mga beautiful powerful verses pa rin na hindi namin hindi ko na hindi ko na kukuha okay so Get a sweet oh, oh wretched man that I am who will deliver me from this body of death I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord Romans chapter 7 24-25 24 okay. the flesh are you able to wait so l- let me let me hold on guys ha lakyan ko kaya siya ah okay guys wait mali pala naka program na kasi okay ganyan na lang so para okay, test na rin okay great so okay guys oops sorry Okay yeah, guys, finifix ko lang tong ano, para ano yun set natin sa high high naman siya okay, hi, it's high so lakihan pa natin guys hold on guys mabilis lang ito I'm not kasi pa ano masyadong familiar dito sa OBS okay okay I think this one is good na <laughs> devotional for today okay, let's read together guys <laughs> the flesh in us can produce a whole game of emotion sorry the flesh in us can produce a whole gamut of emotions and thoughts from defeat jealousy greed and lust to anger, inferiority, condemnation, and arrogance. As long as 
we are in this physical body the flesh is active in us but we can rejoice because when Jesus died on the cross the word of God tells us that he condemned sin in the flesh Romans chapter 8 verse 3 all the negative thoughts and toxic and toxic emotions from the flesh have already been judged and punished at the cross today we can experience a victory over the flesh through the power of the cross amen you can read all about the apostle paul's struggle within the with the flesh in romans chapter 7 you gotta take note of this guys chapter romans chapter 7 verses 18 to 19 for i know that in me that is in my flesh nothing good dwells for to will is present with me for to will is present with me but how to perform what is good i do not find i do not find for the good that will do for check ko lang guys kung nandiyan pa lang okay for for the good that i will to do i will not do but the evil i will not to do that i practice in fantasy okay guys this verse this paragraph kasi tayo kasi as a pag christian ka na in my so i'm just speaking through my own experience ha guys kasi when i was a christian yung kakas when i was a new believer na kokondem talaga ako sa sarili ko kasi I wanted to be perfect in the eyes of God. I want to be, you know, parang i-please God sa, sa, ano, sa, through my actions and through my deeds. But, I'm just human. So, hindi talaga magiging perfect ang life natin dito on earth. Kasi we are in the flesh. We are in the flesh and we will, we can never we can never be perfect because jesus is only jesus is the only one who is perfect that is why we cling to him amen so so if if we are in this um level of belief if you are in that level of belief and if you're in parang nasa in doubt ka pa I mean you're a Christian na and then suddenly may mga thoughts na you know magkocondemn sa'yo and even your you know Christian colleagues I mean Christian brothers and sisters will sometimes condemn you but we cannot blame them kasi like I said we will never be perfect and we can never be perfect because Jesus is Jesus is the only perfect. Okay? Na gets you guys? I hope na gets me. Okay? Guys. <laughs> mali mali na. Okay. Lapit na to. I mean. So, yan ya. Yeah, yung paragraph na to. So, we do. So, si Paul. Si Paul. He was trying. The more he tries to be good to be to do good things the more na he gets to have he gets sin the more he's he becomes frustrated over himself because he trusts he trusted his flesh so you know we shouldn't we shouldn't uh, trust ourselves we just need to trust in God so let's continue guys Antok na yung phone ko did you notice how many times the words I me and my are mentioned in just the two verses above I am sure you can identify with the apostle Paul here in his struggle with his flesh it's the struggle we all face when we are occupied with ourselves in wearing with flesh within us it's a life of vexation angst and defeat and despair this is not where God wants you to live, my friend. A believer doesn't live in Romans chapter 7. Amen. So Christ Jesus, we should be living in Romans chapter 8. 
Let's read on and discover how Paul broke free from his bondage of self. Just a few verses later, Paul cries out, O wretch man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Romans chapter 7 verse 24. The answer, my friend, is found in a person. And Paul tell us this, tells us this person is Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And second, guys, I'm really, really appreciate what Jesus has done at the cross now. See, I realize now. Hindi ko talaga makakamit ng heaven without Jesus. See, we live every day, daily in our daily lives, di ba? We we make mistakes, we make wrong decisions, we make we get angry. Every, that's our daily routine. I mean, that's our life, right? That's a truthful, honest life. You know, that's the way we live. Along the way, we will oh, we will always be angry or or irritable or you know. Sometimes, ako, I sometimes still tell some lies. But, but, thank you, Jesus, because He has redeemed me. I thank Jesus because He has redeemed me from who I am, from what I am. My DNA has changed, and yeah. So, focus lang talaga kay Jesus, guys. If you focus on yourself, you'll just be disappointed every time trust me i've been there i've been there and it was really like it was horrible it was frustrating so i don't want you i just hope you're learning something from me it's just my way of sharing my blessings and my journey as, as a christian as an lgbt christian okay so in my next video I will share more like I will put some notes. I will write down notes. I will write down notes na para to discuss. So if you call then if you have something in mind, if you have questions you can just comment below and I will look through it and out as much as possible. Okay? So guys Oh, it's not done yet, okay? So let's continue. Yes. Just a few verses later, Paul cries out, Oh, wretch man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound to save a wretch like me. That song? Familiar? So that's the wretches. Mm -hmm. You and me, you and I, whatever. Okay, so the answer, my friend, is found in a person. And Paul tell us, tells us this person is Jesus. Jesus, guys, Jesus. Our Lord, Romans 7, verse 25. Only our... Mm, only only our beautiful savior jesus christ can deliver us from the flesh yes, yes i correct amen okay so therefore there is and in christ we can step into the first verse of romans chapter 8 which proclaims therefore there is no condemnation that is therefore there is no more condemnation for those who are in Christ amazing amazing guys I'm so thankful to these days and you know it's it's I can't really now I can't really say that I can't I can now really say that I can't live without Jesus in my life because he gives me strength every time and he gives me his peace that translate 
that transcends human understanding okay guys so that's my life that's my christian journey and so i'm here because i want to share with you this amazing life that i have guys i don't have millions of money or millions of millions of you know money in the bank i don't have property i'm not a millionaire i don't have those sports cars i don't travel around the world but i tell you guys i have perfect joy in my heart i still am joyful and i am at peace that's the most important thing to have in our life in my life that's my in my life peace joy peace peace that transcends human understanding okay so that's okay only our beautiful savior jesus christ can deliver us from the flesh amen true that's the truth and that that truth will really set you free guys if you if you you know absorb it through your soul and in Christ we can step into the first verse of Romans chapter 8 which proclaims therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ this is where we as new covenant believers blah, blah, sorry this is where we as new new covenant believers ought to live not in the domain of constant struggle and despair but in the domain of no condemnation and victory <laughs> amazing guys amazing so that's simple truth like that will really save you it's you cannot buy it you cannot you cannot buy it yeah you can just buy it you can only go to church you can only go to church listen accept jesus as your lord and savior and that's it simple okay so i'm done with this new creation guys joseph prince you can check on him um, on his youtube channel he has tons of powerful sermons guys that if even if it, the even if those are just within in seven five min five to seven minutes it will really change your life and the way you think okay so just just feel free to search him okay and what else okay i think i'm done okay guys i'm a bit sleepy now so I'll see you I'll see you soon on my next video and I'm on my next Christian journey to share with you. It's twelve oh seven I still have an online class tomorrow. Okay, so that's it for now. Good night and stay safe. God Jesus loves you so okay? So, I'm going to go to the house. So, guys, here's my extra. Hope you will subscribe on my channel and we can have an online life group together next time. Okay. So, I'm gonna, um, yeah, say, pray always. Okay.
you to be safe from any, every virus, every financial trouble, every sickness. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.